Revelation chapter 11, 1 to 19. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. And these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoreth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven that it dry not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smit the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt and where also our Lord was crucified. And they are the people and the kinders and tongues and nations shall see the dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer the dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and in half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear was upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up, hater. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men. 7,000 and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly and the seventh angel sounded and there were great wises in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever 
and the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God saying we give thee thanks O Lord God Almighty which art and wast and are to come because thou hast taken thee thy great power and hast reign and the nations were angry and the wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that those shouldest give reward unto thy servants and prophets unto the saints and them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth and the temple of God was opened in heaven and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament and there were lightnings and wises and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail.